Thank you, thank you. I want for you to imagine you're having a conversation with someone. And when you're having this conversation, you're telling a story, a story that's very important to you, okay? And when you're telling this story, I want you to notice what this person is doing when they're listening to you, telling your story. Their eyes are fixed on you. They're listening with their full, your full body, ears open, eyes on you. And they may be even nodding, maybe with a little agreement, yeah? Maybe tracking with you, getting into your story. And when you finish your story, they ask you some questions that feel very caring and maybe even curious, like they're actually interested in your story. <laughs> how do you feel? Great, Imagine great. how you'd feel. Yeah. Now, I want you to think about that same story, telling that same story to that same person, that story that is important to you. And that person who's sitting there before you is maybe doing this. Or maybe they're looking around the room, maybe they're fidgeting with something, or worse, maybe they are jumping into your story with their story. Yeah, I, I don't even have to ask you how you feel, right? I see the heads going like this. Doesn't feel so good, right? So today I want to talk to you about how to make your communications sizzle. I want to talk to you about the one thing that can make all the difference in your communications. The one thing that can make the sizzle happen, the connections forged, and maybe even a little magic. Of course, we have to talk about what stops the sizzle, right? And I want to talk to you about some doable action that we can use to make that communication sizzle. So I want us to think back, that first story. Get that in your mind? How that made you feel? That person was listening to you attentively, eyes affixed on you, right? And possibly you might have felt like what you were saying mattered. Now think about the second example. That second example where the person was here, maybe, maybe it didn't feel like what you said mattered. And now, I want you to think about a light switch. And lo and behold, I have one here. <laughs> when we turn on a light, something happens and light magically appears. Well, we kind of know it's not magic anymore, right? <laughs> and I'm no electrician, but here's the basics. We flip the switch and something happens back here that travels through the wires and light appears, right? And in that light, there's brightness. There's maybe some clarity, maybe some understanding. A little bit easier flow maybe, right? How about when we turn the light off? Dark. Maybe a little bumpy. Maybe we run into things. Maybe it's not so clear. Maybe we don't understand where in the world we're going. And maybe it's even a little scary in the dark. Yeah? So what does this have to do with communications? What does a light switch have to do with communications? Well, communications is a little bit like flipping on the switch. We can flip on the switch and we can make the sizzle happen, the connections happen, just like to that light bulb. And we can maybe make a little magic happen. Or we can turn it off. So what stops the flow? What stops the flow? Well, talking the light switch, pretty simple. We don't turn on the light, right? <laughs> or we may turn on the light 
and the light doesn't go on. There's something going on back here, maybe bad wires, some corrosion, maybe a bad light bulb. And we keep turning on the light and we're frustrated because there's dark, yeah? So communication, talking communication, stopping the flow. Let's think about that. We can either flip on the, the switch or turn it off. Think back to that second example. The second example of when the person was, well, light switch, but on their phone, distracted, looking around, jumping in to your story and dark, right? Here's the trouble. We're human. <laughs> we want to have our story told, don't we? I don't know about you, but we, I want to tell my story. We want to be heard. We want to be the center of attention. We want to jump in and tell our story. But also, as the successful professionals that you are here, you want to make your customers and clients feel heard. You want your communications to sizzle. sizzle. There's hope, my friends. This is a developed skill. You can learn how to make your communication sizzle. You can learn how to make those connections happen and maybe have that magic happen. Now, that doable action that I promised. First thing, we have to know that we are the light switch in communications. We're either going to turn it on or we're going to turn it off. And then we have to make the decisions to keep that sizzle flowing, just like in that light switch to that light bulb, by what? The focused attention, full body listening, opening the ears, closing the lips, and holding our story inside. We have to listen. This is the one thing that will make all the difference in your communications. And take a look at this slide. Look at these two words, listen and silent. What do you notice about those two words? Do you see? If you haven't seen this before, you might be in for an aha moment. Same letters, different order. But guess what? These words don't mean the same. They are not even from the same origin. However, they are so interconnected, aren't they? We must be silent to listen. So I'm curious. What sort of scenario do you want to make happen in your communications? The first one where maybe you felt like the other, pers the, the other person was listening to you and knew what you had to say mattered? Or the second example, where it didn't matter so much, huh? You have the ability to make your communication sizzle, to make those, communi those connections happen. You have the power to make the magic happen. What will you be? Be on or off switch. Thank you.